Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting nested radical expression, which we have to further simplify. The given expression is square root of square root x is power 4 plus 3x square plus 4 plus x square plus 2. So I will begin this video by considering this radicand term as capital A. So ultimately we have to simplify or we have to resolve this A which is inside the square root. So let me write A separately. It is equal to square root of x power 4 plus 3x square plus 4 and then we are having plus x square plus 2. Now I will consider this 3x square term as 4x square minus x square. Let me write here. I will write x power 4 plus 4x square minus x square plus 4. And then after we are having x square plus 2 without a square root. Now I will consider the three terms all together square root of x power 4 plus 4x square plus 4 and then we are having minus x square then plus x square plus 2 as it is now these three terms it is one perfect square it is a square root of x square plus 2 whole square you can check x square whole square x power 4 2 whole square it is 4 2 times x square times 2 so it is central term middle term 4x square and then after we are having minus x square plus x square plus 2 now you can see difference of two squares formula if i will consider this is a then it is a square f x is b then it is b square so i will use a square minus b square formula it is nothing but a plus b times a minus b so let's apply i will be getting x square plus 2 plus x x square plus 2 minus x so i can write the square root of x square plus 2 plus x times x square plus 2 minus x and then after we are having without the square root it is x square plus 2. Now I will write in appropriate way see how it is the square root of x square plus x plus 2 then x square minus x plus 2 then we are having x square plus 2 now i will do one algebraic manipulation where i will multiply this complete expression by 2 and divide by 2 so i will write it is 1 by 2 and then I will multiply with 2 also. Let me write here 2 times x square plus 2. Then I will be writing 2 times the square root of the complete term, both the brackets, x plus 2. And then we are having x square minus x plus 2. Now you can see I will write this expression as it is 2x square. So let me write in this manner x square plus 2 or better is to write 2x square plus 4 ones. Then we will be writing 2 times square root x square plus x plus 2 and then product with x square minus x plus 2. Now I will write this 2x square plus 4 term as half times 
x square plus 2 again I will write x square plus 2 then I will be writing 2 times square root both the brackets x square plus x plus 2 x square minus x plus 2 now I will do one algebraic manipulation step which is I will add and subtract x see how it is I will add x and I will subtract x so it will convert this given expression into x square plus x plus 2 plus x square minus x plus 2 plus 2 times square root the same product in terms of product so let me write here half times I will be writing x square plus x plus 2 plus x square minus x plus 2 then I will be writing 2 times square root of both the brackets I will write here now if I will consider x square plus x plus 2 as a and this I will consider as b then it is a plus b plus 2 times square root ab or square root a times square root b so this is again one identity it is one perfect square of root a plus root b whole square is this so what is a a is x square plus x plus 2 what is b x square minus x plus 2 so I will be writing here half is there I will write half times I will write a square root x square plus x plus 2 then I will be writing a square root x square minus x plus 2 bracket close and whole square of this now this is only a we are calculating this is the value of a now what we have to find out it is a square root of a so let me write our expression as e and then I will be writing e is equal to square root a let us put the value so square and square root will be over so I will write a square root of x square plus x plus 2 plus square root of x square minus x plus 2 divided by 2 and I will put over there a square root and see because of this is whole square so numerator is square and square root will be over and denominator will be with square root 2 so our ultimate expression simplification is I will write a square root x square plus x plus 2 plus square root x square minus x plus 2 divided by root 2 so this is our final simplification or denesting of the nested radical expression i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself